Hey y'all, Mama Snark here. I am filming my video for what we're packing on a road trip to the beach with two toddlers, or I guess two preschoolers now. My little girl's about to turn three and start preschool, which is crazy. But anyway, so road trip packing for two preschoolers on the way to the beach. It's about a five hour drive for us. So lots of entertainment goodies to hopefully entertain them <laughs> on the way to the beach so that you know, they aren't driving us insane. So here we go. I'm gonna do a completely separate vlog for the beach packing, like, you know, what goes into our suitcase and what we're bringing to the beach with us and things like that. So this is strictly going to be what is gonna be in the car to help, just like in the car on the road to entertain them with. So here we go. Okay, so if you've seen any of my packing videos before, I have a whole setup here of things that go into this bad boy, which is probably about the greatest thing we've ever gotten for road trips, but it's a like car car organizer. And I think this one's baby specific because when I got it, Weezer was still a baby in diapers. It had a spot for like wipes and a changing mat and everything, but we are out of diapers and all potty trained. So we no longer use like the wipes, you know, bin or the little changing mat. So this is my organizer. And everything that goes in it is laid out here that I will go over. But the things that I haven't taken out, what just kind of stays in these little side pockets here, these are just some little like travel three wipes, flushable wipes. So if we, you know, we're on the road and someone has to go number two, I can get them cleaned up easily. I also have in here a couple of little tied to go wipes because kids and husbands usually require those. This extra little pocket here, I just have a couple of these little mini play packs and you can get these on Amazon or I've actually found them cheaper recently at Walmart in the party supply section. And it's just like the dollar ones that you get at the dollar, the Target dollar spot, but they're mini size and it comes like in a whole bag of them for $5. And it comes with a little coloring book and two little crayons and one sticker versus like four crayons and a little sticker booklet. So I've got Frozen and some Toy Story ones. And they can just kind of share those. And that's also, this just stay, okay, so this thing just stays in my car all the time pretty much. And if we stop at a restaurant or something like that, there is a pop tart crumb. Ignore that <laughs> toddlers. Um, I can just grab that out of there. Like at any point in time, this front here, little pocket, I have a just basically stash of these, um, sanitizing wipes. So oh, heaven forbid, if I do have to take her, into like a gas station or, you know, if we're at Costco shopping or something like that. Um, we use these to wipe down buggy handles and stuff, but I also use these to wipe down potty seats because little girls can't stand up to pee when they're only almost three years old, <laughs> they have to sit. So I've got those. And then I also have, you know, especially if for whatever reason, if we have to go in a gas station, these are the like throwaway potty seat covers that cover the entire potty seat. So it doesn't just do like the ring around the front, it does the sides and the front as well. Because small children, they like whenever they sit, they feel unsteady because it's a big toilet. So they immediately grab the sides of it and it's gross. So got that in this tiny little pocket here. I just have a couple of like neutral color hair bows for her because she tends to lose things and destroy things. When is in here? Oh, that's just some little like throwaway liners for whenever we had diapers. This side pocket here, I have <laughs> Peppa and George stowed. And these go with, <coughs> these go with the muddle putty, muddy puddle, say that three times fast, jumping game. So this kind of a mistake, but honestly, they do so well with this with sharing they the little figures i mean there's no really rhyme or reason to it but you don't have to play the game how you're supposed to play the game you can just so peppa's supposed to do the yellow puddles because she has yellow boots and george is supposed to do the red puddles because he has red boots 
and they just jump. So it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Let me get stopped. So it's kind of annoying, but it actually does really well with teaching them to share. So they'll each get their figure that they want and they kind of swap out as they want to. And then they'll just pass this back and forth on the car seat. So that's actually really good for sharing. And sometimes they just get bored with playing their video games on their tablet or watching movies. I also have in here this little mini like first aid kit, I, but it has antiseptic wipes, a couple of band-aids and like, I don't even think it has, it might have some antibiotic cream in there, like some Neo. And then I have a little thing of tissues because, you know, sometimes running noses or boogers happen. So those just live down in here. And then in this pocket, thankfully this doesn't really get used anymore, but sometimes I have to go to doctor's appointments at like a surgical center or something where they do still require a mask be worn. So I do have a little stash of kid size masks in here and they're all dinosaur ones just in case for, you know, whatever reason. And hopefully at some point I can just completely take that out and never worry about it again. But for now, those still live here. So I'm going to start with this back pocket here of all of the items that just kind of live there all the time. So the first thing that's going to go in there are their little headphones. And I did just get, let me show you, let's see. I did just get each of them, these little, um, and I don't like to look at them, but this was the one that was the cheapest. So that's the one that I got. <laughs> But they're these little earbuds, and they're supposed to be kid-sized. So we're going to try these, and I did try them in Man Cub's ears, and they did stick. But they're little, you know, earbuds like we wear. Because whenever they're in the car seats, they won't do the fleece-like headbands that plug in. They will not keep those on. They hate them. So that's not an option. So when they're in the car seats, I feel like these headphones, like, it, it's just too big with the sides of the car seat against their head. They do work, but sometimes I feel like they get uncomfortable with them and they end up taking them off, which is fine. They don't always need sound with their movies, but I will keep these in here because these are going to be kind of an experiment this trip and we'll see how they do as, and that's going to kind of determine what I bring for our road trip to Disney World because that's going to be our next big road trip that we do, I think. So for now, these do live down here. And this one until, like I said, I determine which one's the better option. And then I have this little thing here, which is a um, like zip up playhouse type deal. Let's see if I can open this one handed. Nope. Okay. So this has, it's kind of like it's, it unfolds and unzips into a little playhouse. And I just stuffed in here. It came with this weird little bear toy <laughs> keychain thing. But I just put in here her little stitch stuffed animal that she got in a McDonald's Happy Meal at some point in time. And her little Anna and Elsa dolls that came with like a little troll set that we got. And I'm surprised they still have clothes on. They don't have shoes on. She's been into undressing dolls lately. So like none of her baby dolls have clothes. But it also came with this cute little pillow and a couple little blankets and another little pillow. And it's got like the little, you know, scene in there so she can play dolls and do make believe. And it doesn't take up too horribly much room because it kind of squishes together. So she's very much into her dolls, especially Anna and Elsa. So that goes down in here next. And then I also have for her, this was only like $10. I think it was, and I'll link everything down below, but I think this was like Crybaby's brand. No, Baby Alive. So this is Baby Alive. And it was like a big surprise toy thing. Everything came wrapped individually into boxes, but I actually already broke this out. She had an emergency room visit because she fell off of the bed face first onto our tile floor. So I brought this to entertain her there. So I just have everything in here still. It's got, I need to fix it because of course she got everything kind of cattywampus. Okay, so it comes with a couple of different little scenes and you can flip it back and forth, back and forth based on like, you know, which one you want it to be. 
So this is probably a really good thing for like slightly older children, but it works for my almost three year old as well. And like I said, each thing was like individually wrapped. It came with a little juice box and a little like cereal, high chair, some stickers that she has, you know, placed everywhere, a little blanket, a spoon, and then it came with the little bed here and the little mobile that you can attach to the bed. And it came with a baby doll. And like I said, it's a surprise toy. So I think they have like, I don't know, four plus different ones that you can end up with. And I actually did purchase her another one to bring to Disney World with us because like I said, we're going to be driving on our next big road trip that's to Disney World. And that's going to be 10 hours or probably closer to like 12 hours once it's all said and done. So anyway, got that for her and that just lives next to her little playset. So I will say I do have more things for my little girl than I do my little boy. He's four and a half man cub. Um, he's more entertained with his tablet. Like you can just give him a tablet and he's good to go. She is not entertained by screen time for very long at all. So she has more little toy options. I've got these little My Little Pony figures and I actually brought these on the plane to Disney World last time when we flew. And then he's got a couple of little monster trucks and she can play with these too. These aren't designated just for him. And they can just, you know, roll these up and down the window and whatever. So I've got those. And then this is her car baby because it's just a small baby doll. It's much smaller than her other ones. So this one just lives inside the car at all times. This bottle <laughs> has been a thing. She always wants the bottle, but as soon as I give it to her, she tends to throw it and it ends up like underneath seats or in crevices. And I never can find it until I like completely disassemble the car. So <laughs> we have the bottle now. Okay. Next pocket. This is the smallest pocket, the little middle pocket. I have just some run-of-the-mill baby wipes. Um, I tend to get anything that's eczema friendly because my kids are both very sensitive skin, especially my little girl. So baby wipes because children. So those live there. And then I also have the Aveeno Baby hand and face wipes for, you know, after they eat and they have sauce on their face or if we get ice cream or a popsicle or any kind of little treat like that. Again, this is eczema approved. So if I need to like wipe faces, especially, um, and more so with my little girl, I need to have like something designated for her face so she doesn't get rashy because she tends to rash very easily and it stays for a while. So those, and then I keep a pack of these little bibsters in there. Um, just like I said, this lives in my car at all times. If we decide to get ice cream on a whim or something like that, and I don't have their sleeved bibs with me, I'll at least put these on them to try to keep the mess contained and off of their clothing. And then the last couple of things, I got these. These are little squishmallows, squishimals, whatever they're called. Um, I got these from Five Below. I've seen people put these on Amazon for like 50 bucks, which is insane. Go to your local Five Below <laughs> and they were $5. So he got Jack Jack or yeah, no, she got Jack Jack and he got Forky and they just kind of share them and then fight over whoever has them because of course whichever one he has is the one that she decides she wants so those live in there and that's just i got these to prop their heads up when they fall asleep but they don't work for that so now they're just little toys that they hang on to so to prop their heads up when they fall asleep and their chin kind of falls to their chest this came off of like a boppy stroller insert that i had whenever weezer was a baby and i'll prop this like kind of like this underneath it, underneath her neck, like backwards to keep her chin like off of her chest. And I'm looking into getting a bigger version of this online for whenever we drive to Disney World. I just haven't gotten it yet. So this is coming on this trip. And then this is a little angry bird stuffed animal that came in a McDonald's Happy Meal. And basically I do the same thing with man cub. Whenever he falls asleep, I'll prop this underneath his chin, kind of like so to keep his chin just from being completely tucked to his chest because I feel like that can't be comfortable or good for them. And then the last 
section is divided into two compartments and it's the biggest area of the organizer. I have in here, I think these are supposed to be cake toppers, but I just got like a big bag of assorted minions and they're just little plastic minions figures, all different ones, and they're all individually wrapped. My son loves the minions. He thinks they're hilarious. He really likes slapstick. So I've just got a handful of those thrown in here. And if I need something to kind of quickly stop a tantrum or bribe them for any reason, I'll grab one of those suckers. And then also in there, I actually got these at the Dollar Tree. And it came with the red top on the blue bucket and vice versa. But Weezer wanted all red and she wanted her brother to have all blue. So these were $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And they are amazing. So it's, let's see if I can even open it. The lid comes off and it's a little storage compartment. And I ordered for $5 a bag of these size little bricks from, I think it's called like City Bricks or something. And I'll link them below. But it came with the red, yellow, and let's see what his came with. And green and blue. So she decided that he needed the green and blue and she needed red and yellow. So we organized them and they can swap and share. And I'm sure most of these are gonna get tossed around in my car and lost and I'll find them at a later date. But anyway, so it's a storage container and they can also build Legos with them. So for $1.25 and $5 worth of bricks from Amazon, I figured this was a great little road trip toy and it closes up pretty securely. As you saw, I had to kind of like wiggle it around to get it to open. So I've got one for each of them. So that fits right there in the next spot. And then I'm sure I'm instantly going to regret this, but from Target dollar spot a while back, and I just randomly found them in my road trip bin that I keep in the garage. It's like a little keychain, and it comes with a cookie cutter and a small Play-Doh container. So it's a shark and a mermaid. If I absolutely have to pull out all the stops if we're having a meltdown, they, they're tired of being in the car. I have this, and then I'll show you in a little while, I have these little like travel tray desk that I will set up for them to play on. So hopefully it doesn't come for the... <laughs> come to this I can also bring this in the hotel room we're gonna have like a table and chairs in the hotel so I can set that up in there as well get that at the very bottom minions on that side so those go in there and then I have a little bag of action figures for him and they're just little spider-man bad guys that pose spider-man unfortunately his body broke in half and he did not make it <laughs> so now I just have Venom, Goblin, and who is that? I don't know. So yeah, he's got a couple little action figures as well. And then that's where the Muddy Puddle jumping game lives, just kind of on top, like so. And then in this very last compartment here, I have a whole assort assortment of things. And these are also things that we take out. Like I said, if we go out to eat somewhere and we need something to entertain them, because those little like coloring menus don't quite do it <laughs> so this is just an assortment of those play packs from target a couple of different ones um, anytime i'm in target i just stop by the dollar spot and grab a couple of these they are one dollar and the characters just kind of rotate so i just stop in and stock up and keep them in a bin in my garage so she's got raya it's got spider-man or they can pick either one They've got crayons, a whole sticker booklet, and then like a bigger coloring book. So I've got four of those in there. I've got one of these for each of them. And of course she broke her marker off already. I've already had to break these out at the doctor's office. So these have been used a little bit, but they've still got plenty of blank pages. So it's kind of like, it's the uh, Imagine Ink. The one marker works on every page and it just does every color. So it's just the one marker, it's mess free. The marker can only write on this book, which if you have a destructive little one like I do, that's amazing. Um, I will say I have some of the water wells and I don't use them anymore on road trips because the opening is like this big to pour the water in. So if you're in a car and you're traveling, 
I need to bring like a syringe or something to refill it, but I just don't even bring it anymore. What I do bring are these Melissa and Doug, the puffy sticker reusable sticker books. And I've used this one for like a year now. You just put the stickers on the scene here and you literally peel them off and stick them back on there. They can also, I believe, like stick these to car windows as well, but they both really like these. They both like Paw Patrol, so I just have a couple of these. And those are the largest items, so those stand up in the back part here. This thing is stuffed to the gills because I have two kids. <laughs> so those go in the back, and then, oops, the Imagine Inks go in next. And then that loose marker just kind of fits on the side there. And then the play packs go in after that. And then I have these um, little color forms. I got these at the Target dollar spot for $1 during Valentine's season. I think they're supposed to be Valentine's Day cards, but they're just one off little packages and it's got like a handful of stickers and a little fold out sticker scene and it's the like reusable stickers. So again, if I have to like, we need to go anywhere where we need them to sit and behave for a hot minute, I'll grab this. It's something new and different that they haven't seen before and it'll keep them occupied for at least five minutes of bliss, hopefully, she says optimistically. So that, that goes in there. And then I have a portable, portable charger battery pack that's fully charged and it's got the micro USB. This is what works with their tablets. So if their tablets die, I've got that next. And then lastly, these are just little reusable like sandwich bags that you can get. It's a sandwich size. So you can get them in a myriad of different companies and whatever. These are just the ones that I had on hand and inside of each of these, and they've got the same thing in each one. These are my Dollar Tree finds. So they've both been really into like freeform coloring. Like they don't want the coloring book. They've been wanting just like an actual paper and pen. So this was a dollar twenty-five Dollar Tree. It's supposed to be like, you know, little pull off notes, but it's different colors and they're blank. This was a pack of four for $1.25. And these are just blank spiral notebooks. So they hold themselves open. Like they're not having to struggle to hold it open and color in it. So it holds open. They can color this way or this way. And it's got the lines. So they each get two of those. And I have those just in here. Let's see. Like so. And then this is also like whenever I have their lap desk set up, we'll use that to do activities like this. So I'll set up their lap desk and then hand them this whole thing and they can pick and choose what they want to use out of it. And then they each have two frozen pencils. This came in a pack of four for $1.25. So she has two in her pack and he has two in his pack. And these are just the little like no sharpened pencils. So whenever one runs out or they break it, you can just pop off the next one and there's no pencil shavings in your car because there's enough crumbs of various sorts in my car. Those go next. And then I got these off of Amazon. It was like a six pack, I think for like $5. And it's the, you know, bringing back to my childhood in the nineties, the multicolor pens. So it's like every color that you could possibly want or need in this one handy dandy pen. And so the reason they each get two of each thing is because again, kids, just like to chunk stuff when they're done with it and that ends up on the floorboards or underneath seats and I can't find it and they're screaming I need my pen and I can't find it well kid you got another one in there so pull that one out <laughs> and I'll find it when we stop so they each have one of these and those go next in here and then this is kind of the same thing this was a little freebie I got at an event and it's got like the little pen attached and it's just a spiral notebook in case I need any extra. So that's all that goes in here. So this is the full thing that goes in between their seats. 
other things that are going to go like in front of it and i'll show you how i have everything in the car afterwards we have an suv with the like two captain seats or bucket seats and then the middle is just open so this sits on the floorboard in between their seats i got these at dollar tree for a pack of two for a dollar 25 and it's just little like you know baskets but this looked like the perfect size to be able to put chicken nuggets and a bag of french fries and a sauce so it's not just loose and rolling around and tumbling in my car so for whenever we inevitably stop for a happy meal i've got these to hopefully make it <laughs> mess free eating and then the lap desk that i keep talking about these are absolutely amazing if you're doing a long road trip we have used these very frequently so it just opens up like so and then oh this attaches so this attaches to that and this attaches to there like that and then i think this is supposed to like loop around the car but i just or the car seat i just never do that part so it sits like this like on their lap and then these kind of fold down and you can put like their pens and their markers and notebooks and things like that in here and then it's also got a few more little pockets here that they can put, you know, whatever they want in their little cubbies right here. But this just sits on top of their lap and it makes for a like sturdier surface. So if they're eating, like when we stop at Bucky's, usually we'll get a hot dog and french fries for them. And I can just set that here and put their cup here, their water cup here, and they've got a stable surface to eat on. Or whenever they're doing Play-Doh, God forbid if that happens, or whenever they're doing their little like writing tablets they've got a surface to do that on and then when you're done you just oh, goodness that's sturdy velcro okay so when you're done it just folds back up put that under there like so how does that work like that yeah okay so when they're done it all just folds back up and clips back together. So this stands in front of this thing in my car with those trays. So I've got one for each of them. This is my favorite road trip thing. If you have small children, especially little girls, because little boys can stand up to pee so they can go pee on a tire or they can go stand up and pee in a gas station urinal. Little girls can't do that. They like they can't even squat because, you know, their little legs are too little. And y'all, I'm not I'm not putting my child on a gas station toilet. Like it's just disgusting. So, this thing, this is a refill bag that I bought, but it's just basically like a roll of baggy inserts that are waterproof that you put in here. So this thing, so let me set this up here so I can show you. So this you do it like this. The legs pop in like so and then the middle part here pops down you put the little baggie in there and I've heard of some people putting diapers in here so it makes less mess but we just do it in here bring an extra Ziploc bag because there's been a time where we've had to stop and let Weezer pee and it was going to be a little minute until we could get somewhere to throw it away. And it leaked on the car because husbands. <laughs> and it did not smell good. So bring an extra Ziploc bag to put it in because these do tend to leak. But if you're at a gas station, we pop this out, line it with this. You put that in there. And then you put the seat cover on top so it stays in place. And then your kid, you sit that up on like the driver's side or passenger side door or in the passenger seat she sits in it she potties she has used it for number two as well and then after she's done take this part off take the little baggie out tie it off and then toss it in the gas station toilet i mean gas station trash can and then when you're done that folds back in you pull the legs out like so and then you put it all back on the carrying case that has seen better days so we will also be taking this with us to the beach because like whenever we go out to the beach, we're going to have like a little tent set up. 
but whenever they have to potty when we're on the beach, if we, you know, we're not close to the public restroom, our kids don't pee in the pool like they tell us when they need to go pee. And I don't want to start the habit of, well, why don't you just go pee in the ocean? Because I don't want it, them to get it in their heads like, oh, if I'm in the pool or the bathtub, I can just pee and it's fine because I'm in water. So we're going to bring this to like not cause confusion with them. So if they need to potty, we'll set this up at the beach and they can pee. So that sits at the back of it, the back of the car, like so. And then the last items that come, oh, forgot about this one. So this is a new thing that we're bringing. It's a mobile hotspot and a new addition to my local library. They got these in for checkout for patrons. So I had to fill out like a responsibility form, basically saying that if I lost it or damaged it, I was responsible for paying for it. But I got to just check it out with my library card for free. And I can renew it up to, I think like three times or something. So I just went ahead and checked it out even though we're not leaving for about a week. And we will have Wi-Fi in our car so our kids can stream Disney Plus and play Slithero or whatever the video game is that needs Wi-Fi. <laughs> so this is going to be an amazing addition to our road trip. And I will put that just in one of these little side pockets once I get it charged or to live like up in the front with us. So I'm excited to use this. And then the last thing is they each have a toddler carry-on. So, and I'll link a picture here of me using it. These have been a lifesaver if we have to like run into the store or something. And especially if I'm by myself, like I can put one kid in the buggy and then strap one kid to my back. Because if you don't, if you go to a regular store like Walmart or Target, it doesn't have the big like double front end of it. And they tend to fight anyway when they're sitting side by side. So I just strap one kid to my back and I'm hands free. I can shop and do whatever. Or if we decide that we want to like go on a stroll on the beach at night or something, we're obviously not going to bring a stroller on the beach. We tried the wagon on the beach before and it did not push well in the sand. So if we want to go like, you know, look for crabs or walk on the, uh, on the beach at night, then we can just bring these and whenever their little legs get tired and they want to be held, I'm not strong enough to just hold them. They can just go to our backs and then hubby and I can continue on hands-free and we can get a little drinky. My dog. <laughs> Is it raining, Saki dog? Yeah. Is it raining? Excuse the pile of things. My little girl's birthday party is this coming weekend. So I've got all that piled up. And then the next weekend, we're going to the beach. Okay, coming back to add that I've mentioned it, but they will each have their tablets with them as well. Because what's a road trip without giving your kid a tablet to make them <laughs> behave? So they've each got a couple of, let's see, I don't know what you can see it. They've each got a couple of like, you know, different apps on there that they can play with. And then I also have... That's little baby Weezer. <laughs> I also have uh, Disney Plus and Google TV so we can stream movies with that handy dandy hotspot that I'm taking along. So like a lot of these games they can do without Wi-Fi like the Peppa Pig ones or you know some of their little like learning games but like ABC Mouse and the Mario game and the Slithero game those need Wi-Fi so that's where that hotspot's going to come in handy. But yeah they e each have their tablets these are galaxy tablets i think they were like a hundred dollars a piece on sale because i'm not spending the money for an ipad for my kid and the kindle fire kids are garbage you cannot get youtube on them you cannot get several other apps on them and we were not pleased so we threw those in the trash and or his and then got him a tablet the galaxy tab and then when she was old enough for one we also just got her the galaxy tablet so these are joining us because road trip essentials. Okay, so this is how we have everything loaded up into the car. We have the two, let's see if I can get back here without falling, the two little captain seats with the kids' chairs or the kids' car seats on them. So this is Weezer's car seat behind the driver's side. And right here on the floorboard is going to be the snack bag that's going to have all of our like snack goodies for the road. And then in between the two captain seats right here, or bucket seats whatever you call them i have their little snack trays i have which we haven't used these in a while so hopefully you know we don't have to but i have two of the little um 
Bricka backpack leashes if I should need that. If we decide to go somewhere and let them walk just to be safe. I have their two little desks here, their lap desks for the car seats. I have two shades that they always kick off of their windows, but we'll most likely need for the sunny days and the long trip. And then I have the whole basket here in the middle. The portable potty goes at the end here. And then at the very back, I have her little baby carry-on and his little baby, little baby carry-on. And that fills up that entire space right here. And then since it's just us, we have the back seats put up and we'll have the, which we might actually take these out entirely because we don't need them. And then we'll have the suitcase and the ice chest in the back there. So that is our road trip setup. All right, so I hope this video was helpful, informative. Like I said, we've road tripped quite a lot with our toddlers to and from Houston, Texas a lot to visit my in-laws. So pretty good uh, idea and handle on things. So thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe, ring that notification bell. Follow along for more toddler adventure videos coming at you. Bye guys.